Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We get bit an awful lot on the show, but the truth is when you have this many snakes, you get bit all the time, even when the cameras aren't rolling. So we're gonna take a little time, look at what happens when we get bit and how you should handle it. You're watching Snake Bites. I remember once when I actually got bit by this very animal, and I gotta tell you, a bite by an animal this size is definitely not something that makes your day very good. Oh, <laughs> But I tell you, getting bit by an animal this size is pretty rare, and I don't think that I wanna show you how it actually feels today. So let's go take a look at some other animals. Snakes really bite for two main reasons. One is a defensive bite, which is basically just saying, stay out of my area, I don't want to be messed with. They really don't mean you any harm, but they want you to stay away. You can see this Colombian rainbow is nestled down. It really doesn't want me to mess with it, but if I go in here, it's probably gonna try to strike at me. And as you can see, it just hit me like that. There's only a couple little blood specks on my hand. And what's really cool about snakes is the fact that they have an anticoagulant in their saliva, which basically means you're just gonna bleed a little more than a normal wound. What's nice about that is that you're gonna bleed any of the bacteria out and even the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of times that I've been bit, I have never had an infection. All right guys, that's Cal's question of the week. Now obviously we work with a lot of snakes and we show you guys a lot of snakes, but there are some snakes we don't have or some snakes we don't show. I wanna know from you guys, what are some morphs that you wanna see from us? Whether it be in our collection or we have to highlight in somebody's collection, text or video comment below. Let us know. The second type of bite that's very common with snakes is what we call a feeding response bite. Now these bites hurt a lot more because the animal actually is thinking of you as food. It often happens when you're just opening up the cage or sometimes when you're feeding an animal and it misses the food, it grabs onto you and it hangs on. And I tell you, they really grip you and it's not a fun thing. I'm gonna show you with this cow king what I mean. You can see it's really hungry and if it thinks that I'm food, it's just gonna come up and grab my hand just like a meal, just like that. And you can see it's pinching. You can see how it's pinching the skin. And I gotta tell you, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but unlike Chewy, I'm not a, bit, a little baby and crying about it. Now, the bad thing about this is, like I said, it's thinking I'm gonna get, ah, it's thinking that it's actually gonna eat me. And of course, this little snake can't eat me at all, but it's not gonna let go. Now, ironically enough, we've tested a ton of different ways to get snakes off. And as a matter of fact, a lot of them have come from viewers like you that have just wanted to see Chewy get tortured. And most of them don't work whatsoever. But the one technique that we've used that works every single time, believe it or not, is Listerine. This works every single time. And what we do is we just take a little bit in a cap and as you can see, all the blood's coming on here, and we just barely pour a little bit on it, and that's basically a feeding response. Just get that little guy back in his cage, and as you can see, the alcohol from the Listerine doesn't feel very good, but these bites are definitely a lot more painful than a defense bite <laughs> when it's ready to go again. Oh, it's got me again. <laughs> Oh, right in the, that's like the worst place to get bit to, right there where there's a lot of meatiness. Oh, no, it's on my finger. Oh. So if you don't have Listerine around, a lot of people think that running a snake like this underwater actually will help it release. I don't know, I've had mixed reviews on this one and normally it doesn't work for me. Something that Chewy does all the time and he claims that it really works. So we're gonna try it, but again, we don't wanna hurt the snake. But I gotta tell you, it's pretty uncomfortable to have this on your hand like this. And, oh. I actually am seeing it's it's actually tightening as the I pour it in the water. So I'm not so sure this one works. This one seems to be getting worse, not better. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back to the Listerine. This water thing just doesn't seem to be working whatsoever. One more thing that I have to add about the Listerine. Obviously, this doesn't hurt the snake in any way. After all, we actually use it as people. If they let us use it, there's obviously nothing harmful to the animal. There's a couple things that I really want to stress about getting bit by snakes. Number one, the fear of getting bit is way worse than actually getting bit. The other thing is if a snake actually bites you, and if it does hang on, and I'm not sure this one will or won't, ow! The biggest thing is to not hurt the snake. You can't really pry the snake off, but the fact of the matter is, is like I said, even snakes like this that are really feisty and, and will, will bite you on with 
no problem at all. As you can see, it's really not that big of a deal, and we kind of make fun of it here at BHB. We don't want our snakes to bite, but when they do, it's no big deal. Again, it's just part of working with reptiles. And not all snakes are going to be biters, in particular these hognose, even when they're defensively biting, they actually never open their mouth, so they actually just butt your head. But as you can see, even with this guy being a little feisty, you could just pick him up like nothing. I can't stress enough to the fact that most snakes are super, super tame, and they never really want to bite, and they make fantastic pets. So I never want to give you guys the impression that snakes are mean and they bite all the time, because the truth is, with tens of thousands of snakes, we hardly ever get bit by 99.9% .9 of them. Hiya, I am Chilronimo. On Thanksgiving Day, we like to bob for cranberries. Here is Bobbing for Cranberries. Ow! Ay ay ay! I am Geronimo, also known as Big Chief Cluster f I have lost a challenge, but please comment below and send in your challenges. Thank you. For this week's comment of the week on the making of a reptile show, the question was, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And a churlick said, Wow, you guys are busy boys. Thanks for showing us behind the scenes. I love getting my Wednesday subscription. Oh, and Kel. It would be deep fried asparagus. Almost the best thing this girl has ever had in her mouth. Okay, I'm not even sure I want to touch that comment at all. But I tell you what, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and appreciate all the sacrifices that we make getting bit for you guys. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday. Next week, we're going to take a look at aphidiophobes, which is a fear of snakes and how you guys can help people get over it. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.